Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. In this video, I'm excited to share with you what we did for Sophia's first birthday in hopes that it might give you some ideas and inspiration or if you're just curious to see how everything came together. Sophia turned one over Thanksgiving weekend, and I knew that it would be a really small gathering, basically Ben's family and us, because my family live very far away, and then we've recently moved to a new city. But not only that, but people usually have plans already over Thanksgiving weekend. So it was gonna be a really just small, intimate get together. And also I knew that, you know, Sophia, she's one, she will not really remember her first birthday. So what I wanted to focus on were, were things that she could really appreciate looking back in, in hindsight. So let's first talk about the decorating. The decorating inspiration came from from her because she's kind of uh, she's a girl and she's lovely but she's also has a, a wild side about her not that she's crazy or misbehaving and things like that but she's very curious so she just loves to explore she loves the outside she always has she also is just very determined so she has that part about her and then also like I wanted to just incorporate just little things that meant something to us and would mean something to her later on. So like when we first saw her on her ultrasound, we thought she looked like a little bear. She looked like a little gummy bear on the picture. So considering these things about her, we went with a woodland themed, so there's some kind of rustic touches along with some pretty pink florals and we love how she looks in pink. She looks really beautiful in pink. So we wanted to incorporate all of that as well. And since it was a small gathering, I thought I could do something really fun with the play settings. So I decided to use a photograph of Sophia and the family member on the play setting as uh, just a way to mark their plays and to help remember just a good time with Sophia and then it was something that they could take home. So I thought that was really sweet and special and it was really neat seeing Ben's family come in and, and see the play setting in the photo. It was something kind of unexpected and just a really neat uh, just a really neat reaction to that, so I loved that. The floral arrangement that I did at the food table where we'd have everything spread out was a combination of real plants and fake plants. And I love using real and fake plants together because it makes everything look real. I wanted it to be symbolic and beautiful. I wanted it to be a little bit wild and then of course had those pretty elements with the flowers. The vase actually was given to us by our church family and it was so sweet to receive that at our house after having Sophia. I loved looking at the flowers and the vase was just so pretty and so perfect for Sophia. I loved the color of the pink with the gold at the bottom. So I wanted to have that on display on her birthday. The flower in the center was actually from Michael's from their real section where all the real looking flowers are. Then the white accent floral pieces were from the Dollar Tree and then the other greenery was just from the yard. And so in North Carolina, it's still we still have some greenery that we can choose from so that worked out to my benefit. The wood sign was given to me by a friend and it actually had something else written on it. It had Mr. and Mrs. and I decided to sand that off and then personalize it for Sophia's birthday. The cake that I put together I found on a blog and it was just awesome. It was using all natural ingredients, so organic flour and natural sweeteners and a cream cheese frosting and it tasted delicious. It even had apple bits in it and Sophia really loved it. So I'll have that resource below if you're interested in that. I also really enjoyed the gradient frosting. How it started off with a deep pink and then it went all the way up into a lightest pink. I also did, of course, a little banner with one on it. I thought about doing her name, but uh, with that, the cake being a small smash cake size, it, I think it would have been just too small to put that on the banner. So putting up one I thought was really cute and um, worked out just fine. We also had on display her month-to-month -month photos, with the last one being blank because we would be adding her 12-month photo at that time. So I thought that turned out really cute just to see how she progressed. And even the night before, Ben and I were just kind of sitting at the fireplace and reminiscing over how she had grown over just the course of one year. As far as 
her gifts go, since she was our little bear out in the ultrasound, I mentioned that she kind of looked like a little bear. And I'd also seen this really neat idea of taking the baby's onesie from when they were a newborn and turning it into a bear. I didn't feel confident that I could do that, so I made an alternative, and I'm gonna show it to you here. So this was Sophia's onesie from being a newborn, and I decided to make it into a bear. And so what I ended up doing was buying a bear from Walmart for less than $3, and I pretty much chopped off its limbs, and I used, of course, her onesie. It already has the shape of a body. And I um, just sewed on the, the limbs. So like I cut off the hand of the bear and sewed it on here. And I sewed the head on here and the little tail. <laughs> and then uh, after I did that, I stuffed the whole bear together. And I even put little rice in the feet. And Sophia really likes to fill the rice in here. And I like the weight that it adds to the limbs. And so I think it turned out really cute since Sophia was our little bear and it's kind of her skin tone. And this was a little bow that she wore when she was little. And she just really loves to snuggle this bear. And I thought this could be something that she would really love and appreciate many, many years down the road. Something else that I really wanted to focus on was putting together a nice album for Sophia. I have been thinking about all different kinds of albums. I thought about Project Life. I thought about doing just a photo book from like Mixed Book or Shutterfly. And, but in the end, I decided to go with an album by Heidi Swap. The color uh, seemed perfect. We love her in pink and I like the gold uh, accents which kind of went with her birthday theme that we were doing. And um, so I, and I also wanted to not do a photo book or to do uh, a mixed book because I wanted the freedom to add real items from the hospital or just like uh, invitations or something that wasn't a photograph. So, um, so that's why we ended up doing this. And so and there was a little gummy bear. And she looked like a little gummy bear, so cute. And so I thought it's coming together beautifully. It's still in the process. And I ended up getting my prints from uh, Shutterfly, if you're not familiar with the promotion that they have going on right now, you can get unlimited free prints and they'll ship it to you. You just have to pay shipping. So in the end, it comes out to about 10 cents per photo, which is, is not bad at all. And like I said, it's still very much coming together. The dining room is a disaster with pictures strewn everywhere. <laughs> there were two ideas that I loved but didn't end up incorporating in Sophia's birthday. One was I thought about doing a video letter and collecting videos from family members and of course from Ben and I of wishing Sophia a happy first birthday and then also maybe uh, including just observations or blessings or something like that, something that would be special that she could look back on. And we still may end up doing that. I don't think it's too late to do that. So that, that I think that would be really neat and would mean a lot to her. The other thing that we kind of did, but really I could have organized it better, um, was a smash cake session. I We ended up having her do the smash cake, but I didn't have a good background. It really wasn't set up well for video and photographs. So after Sophia's first small intimate birthday, I ran into some neighborhood girls and they love Sophia. And one of them was telling me that their cousin just had a first birthday and that we was at this uh, place with 80 people and they told me about all the awesome grand things that they had and I started to wonder oh, did I do enough for Sophia's first birthday but in the end I really think that it's the love and care that was put into making the day special that will really matter down the road well friends thank you so much for joining me today I hope that if you were looking for inspiration for a first birthday you got it by uh, clicking on this video if you are a subscriber friend and you've been following along with my Deep Clean With Me series. Obviously that has been put on a pause. This time of the year, there's a lot of birthdays going on. Ben and my birthday is during this time. Of course, Sophia's is this time of the year. So I'll be picking up on that again very soon. So thank you so much for joining me today. Love you guys. Bye. Ooh, I like that.
furthest you walk. Good job. And I got it on camera. Ooh, good job, Mama.